I got there already. I mean, I had my computer, I had hard drives with images. I was ready to, okay, I have this time now. I'm going to rebrand myself. I'm going to get all this wonderful stuff done. So when I come back, I'm going to hit the ground running. Thank God, the very first day I had lunch with this wonderful woman, Elise. And she's like, so what are you planning on doing? And I told her everything and thinking, yeah, I'm such a, such a bad, you know, I'm such a toughie, this is awesome. And she's like, well, just a suggestion. I think it might benefit you to not do anything, not to do nothing, but take every obligation, every responsibility you feel like you have to do something, just take that all away and just see what happens. See what you want to do one minute to the next. And at first I'm like, what the, what is she talking about? But I went up to my room, packed up my computer, put it away, set my camera up. But if I wanted to shoot, if I didn't want to shoot, I have no, didn't matter. And I literally just walked to treatment saw how treatment was, walked out back from treatment, went to eat, and one thing led to another, which is really interesting because when I got diagnosed, that was how, that was what freaked me out. Because, oh my God, I don't know what to, how to walk to the next step. I don't know what to do. And it was the most horrifying thing, horrifying. And to have it come full circle and have it be exactly what I needed to learn and I did it with such trust you know what I mean and I did it with such gratefulness that I felt what the wood feels like under my feet as I walk I saw the Sun and how it glared into my eye as I was passing it going through there so much you miss when you just have this focus on getting this done getting that done I think it's one of the most important gifts anyone's given to me. She gave that to me that day.